Are we close to any breakthroughs? I think that we're close to breakthroughs. A lot of the research that we're focusing on, a lot of it is in the same area, which is in monoclonal antibody therapy. Earlier this year, the FDA granted accelerated approval for lecanemab for patients with mild cognitive impairment. Last month, drug maker Eli Lilly released findings that showed its monoclonal antibody therapy, donanemab, quote, significantly slowed cognitive and functional decline in phase three study. Dr. Rafi Wald with the Marcus Neuroscience Institute at Baptist Health's Boca Regional Campus says these types of treatments target abnormal bodies in the brain, such as the beta amyloid protein. But there are some pretty serious side effects. So when you introduce these medications into a person's brain, what happens is they attack all of those bodies, including the ones that are attached to the blood vessels. Mm. Okay, When you attack those bodies and you destroy them, it can leave a hole in those blood vessels, which causes them to bleed into the brain, which is also very damaging. While it might be working on that beta amyloid that's accumulating in the brain, and, and again, that's an advancement, it may not necessarily change the way that they're functioning in their day-to-day -day life. Medicare and Medicaid don't currently cover these very expensive drugs. Dr. Rosie curiel sid at the Center for Cognitive Neuroscience and Aging at the UM Miller School of Medicine says we should proceed with caution. I think that, you know, one of the things that we need to also consider is before you payer sources move forward with making this uh, very widespread is the level of risk that it may have in the general population. I think that that is something that needs to be further um, carefully thought through before this drug is made widely available. Other medications on the market for years have been found to give patients some extra time of improved functioning. But as far as a long-term solution, you have to start years before you even suspect any symptoms. Exercise, okay? With the approval of your doctor, you're going to walk. Walking is so important. It keeps your blood vessels healthy. It keeps your heart healthy. So I strongly encourage everybody to walk. Yes, doing puzzles and playing games on your phone and reading is important. That's very important. But much more important than that is managing your vascular health.